Hello everyone, it's Brains and East Smash Tano again, the internet's busiest music nerd. Coming back at you with a collection update, just a couple of things to go over. Sorry it's been a while, I've been kind of working a little bit more than usual. Uh, so, got a couple of records, got a couple of CDs, a couple of things to talk about. Uh, while we're talking, I'm going to be listening to Kills, Horned Holocaust. This band is Swedish fucking black metal of the highest order. Honestly, when I think Sweden, I think melody, but this band is just fucking pure, raw, disgusting, simplistic riffs. Nothing really special about this thing, but this band has been putting out a couple of uh, records lately, and I find myself just remembering how good this one was. I haven't heard them do as good as this Horned Holocaust album uh, since this one came out, so check out Horned Holocaust if you get a chance. And also, I've been getting some comments underneath some of my videos, uh, way back, old videos, uh, questions that can easily be answered if you just click in the description of the video. There's tons of information. Every single time I do a video, I put links to every band that I talk about. So if you have any questions about anything that I talk about in the video, Look in the description. I say it every video, but I guess I can't say it enough. Look down below if there's any questions that you have about anything. Not that I mind answering a question in the comments, but it would save you a little bit of time and make you look a little less dumb, I guess. Anyways, so I got a couple LPs in. Um, honestly, I was kind of waiting for uh, some more things to come in to do another video, but I don't know. Things have been kind of slow going, I guess. I don't know, but I have gotten a few things in, so let's Let's see here. I'll start with the LPs. Um, this beautiful masterpiece, Vemod's Vent, uh, I don't know, Venter Pashtormina. I kind of speak some Norwegian, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. So I saw these guys live in March back in, uh, up in Minneapolis at uh, the Hammer, Hammer Heart Fest. And they pretty much blew my fucking mind. Um, I had checked them out for a minute beforehand just to see what I was getting into, and I decided, nope, you know what, I'm gonna back off of this and just let their live performance be my uh, full immersion. So this is was kind of hard to get until recently. This LP and CD were both reissued by Terra Terra Possessions not too long ago, and I picked this up from 20 bucks spin fairly cheaply. This is a super well done package. Uh, there was a booklet there with lyrics, spot gloss, double-sided jacket. Uh, it did come in gold. I don't know if gold ever made it to the States. Uh, I imagine it probably sold out pretty quickly. Uh, and then it comes with a poster here. Anyway, this is highly atmospheric Norwegian black metal of the highest order. Pretty sweet poster there. Uh, probably not going to put it up, but I highly recommend this album to you if you, that sounds good to you at all. Um, you know, it's few and far between these days that bands from Norway are doing it the way you think when you think Norwegian black metal. Uh, but Vemod is a really fine example of um, what that used to be and that it can still be a really amazing thing. Uh, next, Summoning Minus Morgul. Uh, this is my favorite summoning album. Finally reissued once again by Napalm Records. I actually had to order this from Austria because I believe America sold out fairly quickly. Kind of came fucking dinged up in the mail. I'm not too happy about that. Uh, whatever. It's a great album. <laughs> Tolkien influenced uh, primitive black metal. There's really nothing with this. There's just two LPs and uh, a jacket with the pictures. Uh, black vinyl, of course. But uh, you should all know Summoning, and if you don't, uh, what the fuck are you doing wasting your time? Listen to Summoning. Listen to Minus Morgul. I kind of also thought about getting their uh, Stronghold album, which is my second favorite of theirs. But uh, I don't know. I've, I've had them on CD for so long. It's not something I'm necessarily clamoring out to get. Um, like I've said in the past couple of videos, you know, when I buy vinyl, it's mostly kind of as a collector to, you know, just to have something that I love on an even more grand format than anything. 
but the next LP that I've got here is Tardigrada Emotional Odin's Odinus. I'm not sure what this translates to. I've only just started to dig into this album, but uh, Fallen Empire put this out uh, on LP, and Eisenwald put it out on CD. I really love that cover artwork and this, this uh, pretty unique sort of sketched uh, artwork to it. But uh, this is a Swiss black metal band. This is their debut full length. I do remember being pretty blown away by their demo from 2011. Um, nothing too fancy black vinyl. Uh, but this is probably going to be one of my favorite albums of the year. Um, it's it's kind of too bad that it just came out recently, but fuck, it blew my mind. The title track on here, uh, Side C, man, one of the best black metal songs I've heard in a really long time. Uh, so I can't really think of anything quite to compare this to as of yet, but I highly, highly recommend checking this out. Um, really great, just modern black metal. Speaking of uh, Year Endless, this came out last year, this is, or this year, with Rujisi Wiatter, uh, I'm not even going to pronounce. Uh, of all the languages that I can kind of fake, uh, I think Polish is probably the one that I'm probably worst going to be able to fake. Uh, so I'm not even going to fucking try, but this is an incredible band. I've played them a couple of videos ago. I hope I'm talking about them uh, enough that you have checked them out. If not, get on that shit in the links below. So this is the latest record. It came out a couple of weeks ago. I had to order this from Werewolf Promotions uh, in Poland. It wasn't too expensive, honestly, and it came with the cutest little patch. Can you believe how cute that is? Um, pretty extensive booklet full of uh, artwork and Polish lyrics that I'll never decipher. So I don't know what they're really singing about, but uh, I would say this is pretty much nature-influenced black metal uh, of the best variety. Um, you know, a lot of acoustic passages, <coughs> real nice murky atmospheric uh, sort of recording. So yeah, definitely check out what Drew Jesse Vieters. Next, I got in. This took fucking forever to get to me. I ordered this on October 5th, and today it's like December 8th, I want to say. But these did come in uh, maybe a week and a half ago or so from Arcane Angels, which is a label that I wasn't aware of until I found out about these releases. So if you don't already, I definitely recommend you subscribe to Ancient Records' YouTube page uh, because they put up a lot of stuff um, that's incredible, just really cold black metal that's usually related to the guy from Beketh Neximu. I think his name is Svarta Dautus, uh, if you want to act like that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, these are uh, yet more of his projects. Um, this is Trolldom. This is my favorite of the three, I want to say, but I'm still uh, chewing on these other two. This is a two-song demo. Both songs are around 18 to 20 minutes long or so. And uh, if you've heard Beketh Neximu, As Lizaseth, uh, Ur Chaos, a bunch of his other projects, you should probably know what you're in for. Um, I guess I would say this is a little more atmospheric, a little more keyboard-driven, a little less... Um, consolidated and dense uh, so I enjoyed that about it upon the first listen um, so like I guess what I should say is that I first found out about these on the Ancient Records YouTube page and immediately fucking within seconds had to order these fucking things from anywhere I could get them from because as you know with Beckett Neximu kind of stuff or as Lizaseth as, as Liza kind of stuff uh, you gotta be like the first in line in order to be able to get a copy of any of this stuff. Uh, with CDs, it's not quite so true, but uh, I just definitely wanted to jump on that and get copies of these things uh, as I try to do with anything back at the next move. Uh, so next, I've got these two Mystic CDs. Uh, M-Y-S-T-I-K. Now, I don't really quite understand what the deal is with these. I want to say they're re-released demos. As with everything that Svarta Dauthus does, you know, it's like he put something amazing out on tape three years ago, gave it out to five friends, and was just like, this is a rehearsal, demo, unmixed, unrecorded piece of shit, enjoy it if you're dumb enough, and then, you know, five years later, the label puts it out, and everybody's like, holy fucking shit, 
So again, I gotta say, smart to doubt this if you're watching this. If these are your rehearsals, do a fucking album. I want to hear a proper album. Let's see what you can do. It's probably going to be amazing. I'm not trying to talk shit. These are amazing. But if these are just demo rehearsal recordings, why are you wasting your time on stuff like this? Do a fucking album and blow everyone's mind. Let's do it. All right. So next, um, I reached 500 subscribers while I was in Amsterdam. So I couldn't really do anything to celebrate it uh, because I was busy having a great vacation. So thank you so much for subscribing, by the way. And I'm so blown away that I've got 500 subscribers. I don't want to celebrate 500 subscribers, but I want to celebrate 666 subscribers for the Lord Master Satanas. So we, I just got like 600 and no 560 something subscribers. So what I want to do from here until we get to 666 subscribers is give you the chance to ask me questions about anything in the world anything your fucking mind can think of asking me no matter if it has to do with metal myself or with what angelina jolie did yesterday go ahead and ask me the stupidest idiotic questions or best whatever you have just give it to me in the comments below this video or message me, or uh, I guess you can send them to me the other way, but I, I would prefer that you best um, put them down below so that I have them all collected and organized until we reach 666 subscribers, which I would say would probably be a month or so from now. Uh, and also, when I do 666 subscribers, uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so keep an eye out for that. This is going to be a better giveaway than the last one. I'm thinking a couple of CDs, maybe like two separate giveaways to two separate winners, if I can pull that off. Um, and they won't be stupid shit CDs. I've got a, I've got a couple of uh, good things sitting around. And um, finally, my last topic for today is I've been working on my year end list. Um, keep an eye out for that for no clean on no clean singing. Um, it's been really fucking tough to come up with this thing. There's been a great, great, great amount of releases, and just the other day I finally had to say, you know, like once you compile your, your year-end list, you, you know, you put together everything that you loved, you, you know, you spent some time trying to find anything you might have missed, uh, just in case, you know, there's something out there. So I've been just getting like avalanches of stuff coming in that I've found uh, that I didn't know about until I went out doing my last look for stuff that I might have missed for the end of the year until finally I was just like okay I gotta call it I gotta call it I gotta stop you know it's a week and a half or so into December I gotta call it everything that's on my list is where it's gonna be in the end I'm just working on writing a small review of every single thing uh, that I put on there and then I think I want to do a video where I talk a little bit about each one I don't have copies of everything on my year-end list yet. Some of them were really hard to track down yet. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'm seeing on other people's year-end lists too that I haven't gotten in the mail yet and I haven't listened to, like the new Volga Fluster, the new Panphage from uh, Bind Rune Recordings. By the way, if you want to get this with Ruji C. Wiecher in the States, I believe Bind Rune Recordings is going to be getting this in the distro, so keep an eye out uh, on their page for that. And get it. Just fucking buy it. Do it. Don't fucking pussyfoot around. Get this album. It's going to blow your goddamn mind. All right? I'm sick of hearing the excuses. Uh, so, yeah. That's all I've got for today, I think. Check out all these albums in the description below. It's right there for you. I don't know how you can want anything more from me at this point. It's all down below. Uh, trans.